Hello everybody and welcome to my second VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the range method um, so this is just going to be one of the, the basic methods that you're going to use quite a lot uh, and it's just going to allow you to to point towards one of the ranges within your sheet so when I say a range um, I mean either one cell or a set of cells um, and if you if you've used Excel before, you know what ranges are. Uh, if you don't, then watch my uh, my beginner Excel tutorials that will tell you how to how to um, how to select ranges. Um, but if we just go into our code, so let's just switch back over by again pressing Alt and F11, um, and we're going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to try and get you guys into the habit of, of some good practice straight away uh, so rather than getting rid of this all I'm going to do is just comment it out um, so if you just put in an apostrophe like this um, and then it will turn green that line will turn green um, and that just means it's not going to run all it is is a comment so just above it I'm just going to go removed uh, message box and that's going to be it. So it's really important that you put comments in your code, um, not just uh, for other people. Um, obviously, it's very useful when other people are trying to read your code to so understand it. But I quite often find if if I've spent a long time away from from a program and uh, I haven't put codes in it, then I come back to it and I have absolutely no idea what's going on, um, even if I've written it myself. Um, so it's just it's just it's just good to to fill in your code with a lot of comments. And also, if you if you're going to be deleting stuff, then then don't actually delete it most of the time because uh, you'll you'll probably find out that you want to put it back in later. So just comment it out by putting a apostrophe at the start of the line. So then let's start our our new uh, code. So we're going to write. Um, I'm going to reference this cell here. So this cell is called A1. So to start off with, we need to say whereabouts that cell is. So this cell is in this workbook here. Um, so there's several ways of referencing that workbook. The one I'm going to use is called this workbook. Um, so we're starting right at the very top, uh, nearly. Uh, we, we, we are going to look at within the workbook then where in the workbook we're going to look there's several places we can look at the sheet one sheet two uh, and sheet three so I'm going to look at sheet one so we're going to put a dot to say it's a object within this object and then sheets and you'll notice that it comes up with a prompt for you so you can just double click that then open bracket and then as the index we can just put in the name of the sheet and so I've put sheet one. We then want to reference the range within the sheet, so we then put another dot and then range. And again, open brackets. Um, so you notice that on on these ones I'm using open brackets. On the first one I didn't need to, and that's because this workbook um, it's always going to reference the workbook that you've written the code in. Uh, so. You, well, if you copy and paste this into a different Excel book, it's going to work on that one as well. And this is the one that I generally use most of the time. Uh, as we go through, uh, I'll show you other ways of referencing workbooks. Um, so we need to then write our range. So we want A1. And remember, it's important to put it in the speech marks, um, because otherwise it's going to think it's a variable. Um, and then that's all good. We've told it we're looking at this range. Um, but then what do we want to do with that? Well, I'm going to change the value. So I'm going to put dot and then value. Uh, and this just gives us access to the value now. So we can put this equals um, and I'm going to put it equals to uh, the value of A1. And again, I've put it in speech marks. So I'm just putting some text into it and I'm putting that in there and then 
that's it that's that's our line of code so now I'm going to run this so alt F11 switch back to other screen I press alt F8 and I'm going to run our macro run and the value of A1 has now changed to the value of A1 um, you can do this say if you want to put in the value of B1 we'll just go back into here and go to the value of B1 and um, if we run this now and the value of B1 is now the value of A1 um, except obviously it's the value of B1 um, so that's how you reference one cell now what if we want to reference multiple cells so I want to change the value of these three cells here so A5 through to C5 well that's that's simple again we just reference it the same way we would in a normal Excel formula so A5 through to C5 and this time I'm just going to put a number in so 15 uh, and I'm going to go back in here press Alt F8 and run and it's made all of the the uh, all of the cells in that range equal to 15 you'll notice that with this one I haven't put the 15 in speech marks um, that's because with with numbers you don't want to be doing that uh, with text you always put speech marks but with numbers you leave them out um, lastly um, we don't actually have to put um, a number here we can actually we can take this again so just copy this side and paste it over here and then we're going to make it equal to uh, a four to C4 so this is going to take whatever we put in A4 to C4 and it's going to put it or what this is known as assignment operator it's going to assign it into this range um, so let's play this now Alt and F8 run and you'll notice that it's this, the, the information here has disappeared so it's overwritten what's in these cells and said it's assigned them the value of what's in these cells these cells are blank so it's assigned them no value at all um, so that's it for ranges in the next tutorial I'm going to show you a slightly different way of referencing your cells um, that can be a little bit more useful um, so thanks for listening uh, if you want to check out all of my tutorials then please subscribe uh, and I uh, hope to catch you again soon